Welcome YouTubers, this is Big Daddy D15 from Razer Elite Gaming and today I'm going to go ahead and bring you a tutorial on how to reset your Xbox One after you have gotten the Xbox error screen of death. This actually happened to me a couple of days ago. I was coming home from a long day of work. All I wanted to do was log on to Xbox with my buddies, you know, just go kill some noobs on Call of Duty, get a pen kill on Smite, you know, the usual. So as I try to log on, this is the error message I have received. Now at this point when I saw that I didn't freak out, I didn't panic, you know, I just I just did the regular troubleshooting uh, like holding the power button for 10 seconds. Um, I took off the power source, left it off for 30 seconds. Um, when I turned it back on, unfortunately it did not work. Um, I would, this error message would still appear. Um, I still stayed calm. It does say to contact Xbox customer support, so that's what I went ahead and did. Um, I was able to get a hold of a rep. Uh, we went ahead and did some other troubleshooting. Uh, still did not work. Um, at this point, I did get worried um, because the uh, rep did tell me that my Xbox was no longer under warranty. Um, they notified me that it would be $135 to replace the Xbox. That did not include shipping, nor did he tell me a schedule on how long it would take. With the holidays just passing, me dropping an unexpected $135 was just not the best thing to do for me. So I decided to hold off on replacing my Xbox. I did my research and I was actually able to figure out and fix it. I was actually really excited, was pumped um, that I was able to save myself $135. And I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. Hopefully save you some money and get your get Xbox going. I don't know about you guys. I cannot live with my Xbox. And I know probably if you're watching this, you probably can't live without your Xbox either. Now what the screen actually is, is that the Xbox is notifying you that during the Xbox update, something went wrong. Whether it, it lost internet service, someone turned it off during the update. Uh, the file that it was downloading became corrupt for whatever reason um, But this is actually what that screen is is that it crashed during it its update and it got stuck since the Update was not complete this e305 the code you see here is the one I got But I did my research and it seems like there's multiple codes for this and they actually are all the same thing is that the update was not complete but no worries, um, like, I did, like I mentioned, I did my research and I was actually able to figure it out. What you go ahead and do is you go to this website right over here. I'll leave the link below. It's an offline system update diagnostic tool for your Xbox. So what it turns out that this update crashing is on your Xbox, it's actually pretty common. You're just need, gonna need a couple of things. Um, you are gonna need a USB flash drive with minimum of four gigs. Um, it needs to be formatted to NTFS. Now, if you guys don't know how to set it up under that format, don't worry. I'll go ahead and show you in the video in a bit on how to do that. So if you continue to scroll down, you're going to see instructions on step by step on how to do this. If you keep going down, here is what you're going to need. Here are the software updates that you need in order to fix your Xbox. We have DT1, DT2, DT3, and most importantly, the restore factory settings. The way you determine on which file you're going to go ahead and download is by checking what software your Xbox was currently on before the update. Now here's the thing, Be because you're on that crash screen, you can't check that. Normally you would go into the dashboard, go to your settings and see the software that your Xbox is on. We can't do that. I downloaded each one of these files and it didn't help me out. It would just kept erroring out. So I know most people watching this video are just like, no, I'm not going to reset my Xbox. No, it's not going to happen. I'm going to lose all my stuff. Trust me, I was on the same boat. I didn't want to do that. But it was actually the one that helped me. What I would recommend, you just go ahead and if you have an external hard drive, just transfer all your stuff there uh, because it will delete it. It will put it back to the factory reset uh, settings. Um, and possibly you'll lose all your campaigns, uh, everything you've already done. So, I mean, I, f I was trying to avoid it, like I mentioned, 
I figured my Xbox right now is a brick. It's useless to me. At this point, I have nothing to lose. I went ahead and did it. I downloaded it. So I would just recommend you go with that. Uh, and then you can just update it after when your Xbox has uh, restored everything. So what you go ahead and do is you actually just click on the, uh, on the file you want. I, again, I recommend the, res the restore factory settings. You just click on it. As you can see, it's already downloaded for me right over here. Um, so you're going to go ahead and open it up. Um, if they, You're going to see the zip drives. If they're not already uh, formatted for you, um, or you don't have a software in your computer that formats files for you, you could just go ahead and download WingRaw. I can leave the, I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you for if, if you could download it for you can get the if you can format the files. Like I had mentioned before, um, in order for this to work, you need to the flash drive that you're using, you need to format it in uh into a specific file. So what you go ahead and do is go to format. I already have it set up to NTFS. Uh, most of uh, flash drives won't come like that. You're gonna need to go ahead and click it uh, right here. And it's already selected. Mine is already selected because I've already done this and got it started. And you just go ahead and hit start and it's gonna start doing it. It may take a couple of minutes just determining what kind of flash drive you have. It really doesn't matter. So after that's done, what you go ahead and do um, is you drag the file that you need in here. This is what you're going to look at. It's going to say system file updates. Once the file is in the flash drive, I do highly recommend you guys, please back up your information onto an external hard drive. Things like campaign, pictures, software, settings, uh, because it is going to delete the information onto the Xbox to the default ones where it's basically fresh out the box. So I don't want you guys to lose any information and be upset later on. Uh, now I'm going to load up the video and show you how to uh, install the flash drive into your Xbox. Here's my setup and my Xbox. Here I'm going to demonstrate how to properly install the flash drive with the file that you've selected, whether it's the restore factory default settings or the OS 1, 2, or 3 file. Only one of them should be installed into the file before you install it into the actual Xbox. Uh, also very important, you only need the power source and the HDMI cable plugged into the Xbox so you don't need your connect or the internet plugged in while you're doing this. Uh, so let's get started, just to show you. Go ahead and just plug it in on the side. All right, here's very important. You almost kind of simultaneously hit all the buttons in order to do this. It's gonna be the sync button, the eject button, and the power source. Now if this screen pops up that means that everything was done correctly. The Xbox is now reading the files from the flash drive and resetting itself back to the factory default settings. If by any chance it's not reading the file that means you may have done something wrong but, or forgot to put the format on the flash drive to NTFS. Once the Xbox controller appears on your screen that means that everything was done the right way and now the Xbox is in its default settings. Not only did you just save your Xbox, but you also saved the hassle of spending $135 and being without your Xbox. Go ahead and finish up right here by syncing your Xbox One controller to your Xbox One and just finish the tutorial that is showing you on the screen. After you've done all that, just make sure to go to your settings and do any updates that you need to do for your Xbox and you're ready to go. I really hope everyone enjoyed this video and found it extremely helpful. Please make sure to hit that like button. You can also come and check me out on my Twitch channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram and our Twitter page. All the links will be in the bottom under the description. Again, this is Big Daddy D15 from Razor Elite Gaming signing off. And just remember everyone, keep on gaming.